all right welcome back this is where we are getting started and I as a DevOps or an infrastructure engineer I want to be able to deploy and share my app everywhere consistently and manage it as a single entity regardless of the different parts sound complex right let's try to simplify this a little more before getting in the helm world we're going to understand what are the actual problems we have at the moment with Kubernetes deployment? Let's take a look at the application, conventional application architecture wherein you'll have a presentation tier. That's where the user request would be coming into. You have an e card application, e commerce application. You have a simple web based application where a user comes and buys some. Uh, some some sort of uh, product from your presentation tier that is obviously is attached to logical tier or wherever your business engine is generated now this could be an api which is deployed as a, a deployment or a service or could be something else also and obviously if you have an application you got to have a database also right could be Elasticsearch, could be sql could be postgres could be cassandra could be any other no sql as well so what you want to do is you're going to create multiple Kubernetes manifest, right? So, and just imagine you're going to replicate this for multiple environments. You're not going to have one environment. You're going to have multiple environments. And if you're working for different clients for same product, you're going to have multiple clients as well. And you're going to deploy it for multiple clients. So how would it look like? Theoretically, it's if you got to deploy or you have been deployed in a cube CDL way, you got to have minimal eight to 10 YAML for this particular application. Why? Because you got to have a application deployment and a service config, right? If you have a service, you got to have a deployment as well. For database, you got to have a master deployment and a service config and same for slaves as well. And that goes again for logic app as well or the middle where you have. And all of this gets deployed as uh, kubectl apply, kubectl create, and whatnot. So 8 to 10 for each environment. Just imagine you have got one single manifest and that consists of underneath Fluent, you got multiple files. Underneath Kibana, you got to have multiple files. You got to create this for multiple environment, not one. So you got to have same files for three different environments so which means you're going to copy paste all of these and create it for multiple environments this doesn't stop here you got to have it for multiple clients also and just imagine how many cube config file you got to recreate it again and again and to be honest you also know what you actually you changing in the config is majorly the image name or a few of the other minimal configuration the entire files remain same so what, what we're trying to say over here is deploying manifest kubernetes manifest in a cube serial way is tough because deployments are not easy to configure you got to have update and rollback changes also uh, you got to deploy to multiple environments if you don't want to create multiple files you got to use some sort of uh, manipulator right could be a could be using yq could be using json net uh, could be using yaml configurations you got to manipulate your config for different environments you just if you just want to create it for one environment you also got to take care of update deployments change the configuration based on certain configuration conditions uh, you got to ro roll back also and obviously you would be deploying it for multiple deployments so it requires you to track your deployment and modify YAML every time you want to change anything and does not allow multiple deployments without updating the metadata. And if in case you want to share your deployment with your friends, teams or customers, you got to make sure that none of the manifest has got any sensitive information because this happens, right? Your colleagues ask for some sort of configuration from you if you have already worked on it so that they can refer it as well sharing it sharing it with them uh, using the manifest which you already have is not easy so the desired way could be you templatize the yaml so you make it very generalized 
and the values the custom values like the image name replicas uh, config map you change them at the runtime and eliminate the need of modifying the yaml every time because that's going to help you to achieve scaling update rollback and obviously single file for multiple environments obviously you want to also package the yaml files and other dependencies so that you can easily share the package with others which you couldn't do with the cube serial way and install and the packaged app by providing desired configuration at runtime rather than just maintaining the config always uh, and you could use the same config files to deploy multiple time what does that mean is at this point of time if you were deploying manifest using cube serial command if your manifest don't have any changes cube serial going to tell you that no changes no nothing to apply however with helm you just need to change the name of the chart and you could use the same config even if you haven't got any changes then also you could deploy it's just too good to be true right in the demo we're going to see that and that's where helm comes into the picture it's the it's the best way to deploy and manage your kubernetes manifest even if you don't have any kubernetes deployment experience helm actually hides the kubernetes domain complexities it packages all the dependencies and create it as a chart so that everything is hidden from you you just take care of the deployment using a single helm install command desired configuration passed at the runtime so you're not complicating your manifest too much and making it very generalized helm tracks deployment making it easy to update and roll back so it just gives you a version number and using that you could just roll back and upgrade or uh, go a little backward uh, and it makes changes at one shot to all the objects same workload can be deployed multiple times which means you have your one pod or deployment or services or stateful set you could use the same file to deploy it for multiple environments without actually having to modifying your yaml and it's pretty easy to share because you have got everything packaged and generalized you don't share the hard-coded secrets all right that's about it i hope this was informative i will see you in a while wherein we're going to discuss what actually helm does when it comes to deploying kubernetes manifest i'll see you in a while